Hi everyone, Mel here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fab crafty week so far. And can I say a big hello to my lovely new subscribers? It's so fab to have you here. I hope you enjoy this video and my next vlog coming up. I have a little confession. The video that was supposed to go live this week is corrupt, so I can't put it on. I don't know what's happened. I don't know whether when I've been uploading it, something um no idea i'm really sorry so today's video isn't the best because i'm doing it quite quickly to get it done for you all but i hope you enjoy it just the same so we're going to be creating a little light up bobble so you can see just a little basic bobble now this could be just a simple decoration if you made it double sided but i've just went for the one side and then you could turn it into a little card as well just something simple and then when you pull the little tab we've got this little light in the middle See if I turn off this light. Um, there we go. Just something a bit different, but still looks fab. See all that detail on the top. I found some really, really old pattern papers in my sash. Um, as you can see, I just thought it was perfect for this wee card. And I think it could be American Crafts. It says Joyful on the bottom if that helps anyone, but I'm not too sure what it is. I also used a bobble shaped die that I got from Chloe's Creative Cards. I used the die. I also used the Pinsetta die and stamps in this wee set to make the decoration. But I'm going to show you today, you don't need a bobble die. As long as you've got a circle die or some way of cutting a circle, you can make a wee bobble. Really easy. And just some of your bits for making your lights and then any decoration you want. Um, before we get started, can I do the usual pain in the neck thing and say if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps my channel. And if you've not already, please subscribe. Again, it really does help my channel. And I'm not far from a thousand, well, maybe about 300 people. And I have a big giveaway coming up, so keep your eyes peeled for that. So, let's get started. Now to start your little bobble, what you're going to need is, if you're using a bobble shape, this is how you're going to do this one. You're going to take a piece of card, fold it over in half. Then you're going to die cut, leaving a lip at the top. Sorry about the flickering, it's because it's white card. Then you're going to die cut a full shaped one. For a basic circle shape, again, you're going to fold a piece of card in half and overlap at the top, then cut a full shape again. That's what you need for your basic shape. Nothing difficult but that. So if you want to go and do that, I will cut mine out and then we can move on to the next step. So that's me got my bases from a card and I will glue that on top and that will give me the card base. Again, I'll repeat that on this one. Sorry about that, the dog decided to shake. Next, what I'm going to do is cut out some pattern paper for the top. So I have this lovely grey silvery tone from the Craft Consortium. This is the Ink Drops Monochrome. I'm going to use that on my grey one. And for the white one I'm cutting, sorry about the noise, I'm going to use these whoop, Simply Made Crafts by Helen Griffin. This is the Winter Sparkle and I am going to use this turquoise snowflake set. So what I'm going to do is take the next size down die so that I'm going to have a slight border. You can see, so I'm going to do that for my grey one and I will find one that fits into my bobble as well. If you want, you could centre this so that you get the zing properly, but I'm just going to have it. Actually, maybe I will. Let's be good and try and get into it. What I'm going to do is my best. Well, 
You can see the lines really help with this one. And I'm just going to pop a bit of washi tape before it. It's just here. Probably could have used the next size up, but for the video, it'll be fine. Next, what we're going to do is decide where you're putting your lights. Now, for this one, I'm going to have it in the center, but for the larger one, I think I'm going to have two lights. So, what you're going to do is use this. Now, my light is going to be right in the center, so let's center this up. And I'm going to mark where my centre is. There we are. You can just see that. So that is where my light's going to be. If I just get my bits and bobs for doing the light. And one at a time. What we're going to do you want to take the batteries I want to make sure that I am not coming out that line and I'm going to have it here like so next what I'm going to do is draw my circuit so my positive is going to be here and what it's going to do is go on top of my battery when I put it in. And you're going to come round and it's going to go here, which you're going to cut a slot here for your pull tab. And then it's going to come down and connect to the light. And the negative side is going to come from the battery up to the light. So that's your negative and that's your positive. This is still positive here. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So that's your light in the middle, that's the battery, that's your slot for your pull tab and then you've got your negative coming up which will stick to the base and then your positive will go on top of the battery and round. Again I'm just going to make sure I'm going to centre this again and I just want to have a little line here so I know not to come over there for my pull tab. Now, what I'm going to do is, turn this so it doesn't flicker. I'm going to cut a little slot for my pull tab. So what we need is a little slot. Your card will move up and down in. Like so. Then you're going to take your copper wire. So your negative will be on the battery. And then we're going to take it along. Now, I'm not very good at manipulate it the way I want it to go so I'll just do as best I can so I want that like that it's not the perfect but it's going the way I want it and from a positive I'll start here at the top and I'm going to work round I hope you can see maybe if I zoom in that may help. There we are, that's better. And then we're going to come down here where this is. And we're going to snip this here, leaving a little over because it's going to go through the space and underneath. Feed it. It's sticking to itself. If it's easier, you could start at the back first, like so. 
and then you've got the bit at the back and then you're going to do the same down so what I'm going to do is I have to make my space wider sorry about that because my teeth is going to touch it's better that when my teeth's in it won't touch make sure you've got some around that side There we are, sorry about that, off camera. And then we're going to adjust. Angle this back round. And again, this can go on top of the battery. So I'll leave a wee bit extra. And that will go on top of my battery when I'm ready. Like so. I guess it's not the neatest, but you see what's happening. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a bit of work hard. And we are going to, you can cut it any way you want, but I'm just going to use my scissors quickly. what you want to do is you're going to fold one bit then two bits three oh we're not on camera zoom out i'll do that again so what we're going to do we're going to fold one over then we're going to fold backwards Basically, we're sort of concertina, concertina in, so that we get this shape. And what you want to do is trim that to the same length. So you've got a large sort of zigzag shape. I'm going to go this way. You want it to look like that. Now what you're going to do is take your copper tape again. And starting on the top part, you're going to put the copper tape on top. Then bring in the tape over and fold back and come around and then fold this side over and come right across then fold that side over and come across and then you're going to come back over the top so that they meet You want it so that there's tape on all the sides. So it'll look like that, but there's tape on all the sides. And this is going to fit in here. This is your mechanism. Okay, now that that know that fits, what I'm going to do is extend this. I'm going to put this in here so that you've got two bits at the back and two bits at the front. And you're going to make sure they don't touch until it gets pulled. I'll pop my light, my battery on, and then I take one of my bulbs and go with one of the blues. And then we put this here, you'll see that it comes on. 
but when I move, it switches off. See? What I want to do is, I'm going to stick down my battery. Now I have some of this, uh, I think it's inductive tape, conductive tape even. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit. I didn't want that to happen. And I'm going to stick it on itself and to the base and stick my battery to it. And that'll stop my battery moving. And then when I put my tape that's ripped somehow back on, it should stay in place. And if I check again, oh, there we go. It works. All I have to do is glue down my wee light. So I'm going to use a bit of hot glue and I'm going to pop that in the middle and stick down my bulb. Make sure the long side is my positive side. And I'll just stick that down. Here's this wee bit to make sure I don't burn myself. And once that's dry, I'll bend the wires so that they're sticking onto either side. I know it looks messy, but it shows you how it's done. What also I'm wanting to do is make this slightly longer again. I just want it to have a little bit of a further travel. So next, if I bring it down again, I'll show you what we're going to do. So now that I've got everything, I'm going to bring my legs onto the right places. I'm going to have to bend that one a little. And I'm going to use a bit of the tape to hold them in place. I don't think this is the best way to do it, but this is the way I do it. If you know a better way, use your way, or you could use just normal little lights with a switch. And then with my nail, I'm just going to push it right down, make sure there's plenty. And then if I bring that up, there we go. Working. And that's what we want. So that's your basic circuit all done for this one. What all you need to do now is make your handle. So the way I do it is I had just the same width as the bit of card that I'm using. And I glued it in place on top. And I also brought it round and glued it to the back. What if I just do that? Then get my glue. Now when I pull that, my light should come on. So now when I add on this, I can put a hole in the middle so that my light is going to pop through, like so. You can just see it lighting up there. So what I'll do is I'll add a little hole for that, move that to the side. And there that will sit on top and when I bring that my light's going to shine through perfectly. So that's the basic circuit of how to make it. Now it's all a matter of decorating. So you can do anything you want on the top, you can ink the edges and then glue this on. I'm going to use foam pads to put mine on and also when I add my foam pads I will add a bit of foam here so it gives it the same height and also it gives that little bit of pressure against the card on top so that my light will always connect. So that's that part. Now for this one, I'm going to be slightly different. 
I want to have two lights this time. So with this one on top, I am going to add, I think, one here and one up here. Yeah, just so I know where they are. So we've got this. We're going to do the exact same thing we did here. So if I have my lights sort of this way, everything should work out the same. Hopefully. I've not done it with two yet, so here we go. We will try it and see. So I need a battery. And I'm going to put it here as well. So we'll just have that. Again, draw around it so we know where it stays. And because I'm going to have them sort of like that, I'll have my pull tab here. So if I use a bit of that grey card I had, and just colleges there the house phone went so what you want to do is cut a piece at three inches by however wide you want it i've got one inch just now but i might reduce that and then you're going to score it a half inch and then you're going to take the middle and fold it to create it your basic shape again it's like a exaggerated w As long as your two top ones are facing you and the other ones are going in the opposite directions. So I think I don't want it as big as that, so make it half an inch or three quarters of an inch might be better. So I'm just cutting this here. So three inches by three quarters of an inch works better. So then again, what we'll do is we'll fold it up. We'll take more copper tape. Now, starting on the top, like so. Then coming round to the next side. And then onto this part, then folding back. These two will come together. Stick those pieces together, fold this side over now and come over and then back over onto the top so that when you fold you'll still have that shape. Again apologies the dogs tell me to shut up. So you want that, this will be your pull tab again. I'm going to have that here. I want to extend that but come up enough so that will come down a little bit more perfect again so what we're going to do is we're circuit so you've got your positive and your negative and your positive is going to go on top and it's going to come up and through then over the top of your lights whereas your negative will come from the center and underneath your lights. You don't want your wires to touch at all. So if I take this bit of tape, if I come from the negative side first and come underneath, oh sorry, off camera. And I'll just add a wee bit there since it's folded over. Keep it stuck down. Cut my slot this time. Again, we've got our little slot for traveling through. That's out the way again. We're going to take more of our copper tape. So 
So if I start at the back this time, it might be easier. Just taking it off the backing. And if we come through here, onto the back. And then on the top again. So those don't touch. Then I've got a little bit on the double side. Let's so put that there and the opposite side. And go through the back. Round. And again, I'll just leave that because it'll go on top of the today. Now I'm going to decide on my lights. I'll probably just go with white. I mean, I have this set that I got off of Amazon. I'll link it below. It has all these different colours. This is more purple than pink. So if you want pink, you'll have to find maybe you could colour the lights themselves. I think I'm going to go with just these warm white. A good way to make sure that it's working is if you pop a bit of tape on top, your battery in place, and this just helps you test that your lights are working. Again, the long side is the positive side, and we'll just see, and you can see that that is working. I'll move my finger. Oops. Difficult to show you. There we go, that's working. So that one's fine. And the other one. And that one's working too. What I'm going to do again, I'm going to have my hot glue, a blob here, and a blob here. And I'm going to put down my lights, make sure I've got the long side there. On there and I can adjust the legs once they have dried. And that wee bit of induction tape. Conductive tape even, I keep calling it induction tape. What I'll do is I'll double it on itself to make it sticky and stick that there so that my battery will stay stuck down. And I'll just arrange that tape better. Now I'm just going to move these legs. And I bring a bit of tape on top. Oh, if I bring this in, it'll work. Then I'm going to pop that through. Move it to the back and make sure it's working. There we are. We've got it to work. And that will put the holes in this one just like the other one. that when we bring that up my lights will shine through like so and that's that now all I have to do is add on my little pull tab so that needs to be an inch I think I need a slightly longer bit of card so I'll just cut that there we go
Now, I'm going to tidy up quickly and then we can get started on the actual decoration now that we know how to do the basic circuits. Hopefully it made sense and you can figure out what I did. I'm sorry if it doesn't make sense. I had never done it before until I made the little one and I'm just going by guesswork. As long as your negative all stays connected, your positive is the one that you want to break and you want to break it before you connect to the battery but after the lights. Hope that makes sense. I'll get tidied up and we can get decorating. Off camera, I've dice cut some little bits. So I use this die set again, another Chloe. It's the Elegant Pinsettia and it's a set of double layer dies. And I've cut top layer, as you can see, from a matte mirror card and the bottom layers I've cut from a silvery black sort of satin card, I'm not too sure. And that'll go on this grey one and for the other one I used again another Chloe's but the glitzy snowflakes and I've die cut them from white and I've used a pearlescent white embossing powder on the top and I'm going to ink these, you can just see it if I do that. For anyone who wants to know, for when I do these quickly, if I'm doing a whole lot, what I do is I die cut, as you can see this little bit, I die cut them, I make sure that I know which way the die cuts, because on Chloe's dies, they have a little groove on them, so you can just see on top there, this little groove, so that you know which way the stamp goes on, when you go to stamp, and what I do is I do that, and I'll pop a wee mark. Then once I've done that, I will put this in my stamping platform and I'll line up my stamps without the tacky tape behind, making sure this is right in the corner. Then I'll take it off and I'll put some tacky tape on the back and then I can just pop these in when I'm ready, if I've got the right one and it will stay stuck. And then I can just stamp a whole load. But that's just quickly. If not, I would normally stamp then die cut, but I was doing quite a few, so I used this wee trick today. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink some wee bits and bobs. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to give these a bit of a turquoise tone like that. So I've got my salvage patina. And I'll just get my... Yeah. That just makes it a bit brighter. Not sure. We just need to finish decorating that and that's going to be with your little pop from the dies. Just add that on and some gems and that one's finished. I might even add in some glitter. But this one, what I'm going to do is add this on. Again, I'm going to do the foam pads.
we're finished. What do you think? Do you have a favourite one yet? I can't decide which one I like best. As you can see, oh, I trimmed back the little pull tab. It just looks better and I've added glitter to the centre. I think I'm going to add glitter around the edge as well. I think it will just bring it all together. And if I just pull it, you can just see the light through that and no more. And this one I've added glitter again around the edges and down on the actual petals. I've added a ribbon to the top with a wee bow. This one's got that twine on it. Again, trimming that back and it just turn the light off. You can just see. I think if I made this one again, I would trim, no trim, make the hole bigger so you can get a bit more light coming through because I think when you pull this one, you're getting much more light coming through that centre. Sorry, it's flickering because I've got it lifted up. And as if you see this one, there's so much more light comes through the centre of that one than any of them. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really helps my channel. I know I go on and on and on about it, but it really, really does. I uh, post videos every two weeks, but I do have a sneaky one coming up on Monday the 30th, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Something a bit fun, and there might be even be a giveaway or two, so keep your eyes open for that one. And again, if you're not a subscriber already, please do I hit that bell button to get notifications. I'll pop everything you need to know about what I've used and these in the description below. But until next time, bye!